This is the eighth part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. Previously, I have completed the steps of setting up the simulation in Forte Simulate user interface. I am about to show you how to run the simulation and check the results using Forte Monitor. In the Run Simulation panel, you can see a table showing the available simulation case and its settings. You can run the case either in serial or parallel. In MPI arguments, specify the number of processes to be used. Select Prepare Batch Scripts and Run, and click the Start Save button. The status of this case becomes running. What if you want to vary one or more parameters in the simulation settings and compare the results to those of the nominal case? You can introduce a parametric study. To demonstrate an example, I would like to vary the start of fuel injection. Previously, I have set the start of injection as minus 22.5 degrees. To introduce a variation, Click the plus minus button next to this entry. Select the first point and increment, and put in an increment of 5 degrees, and set the number of runs to 2. You will see two new cases appear in the parametric study list. Run number 1 echoes the settings of the nominal case, and run number 2 has its start of injection moved 5 degrees later. Once a parameter is set as parametric study, its label turns blue. As I go back to run simulation, I can start run number 2, the case with 5 degrees later start of injection. You can start Forte Monitor from the Run Simulation panel by clicking the Monitor Runs button. In Forte Monitor, on the left, you will see the CSV files in the simulation folder assembled here. There are a number of CSV files containing data that are spatially averaged and aggregated over the simulation domain and tabulated as a function of time or crank angle degrees. In each CSV file, you can click and activate the plot of any solution of interest. For example, in thermal.csv, plot pressure and chemical heat release rate. Note that I have included two simulation runs, nominal and run number two. All the setup parameters are the same, except that the start of injection in run number two is delayed by five crank angle degrees. We can see the effect of this parameter change in the chemical heat release rate that in run number 2, the combustion and heat release are delayed. You can include more plots from, for example, in spray.csv. The spray droplets mass and vapor mass results, and again see the effects of the parameter change. You can choose which runs to display in the plots by clicking Select Run Monitors to Display. Currently, I am displaying both runs, and I can select only the nominal run to be displayed. You can also zoom in on each of the plots. Click the Stop Monitoring Runs button first, and zoom in on one of the plots. If you click the Stop Monitoring Runs button again, all the plots will resume their default settings after a few seconds. There are a few things to note. First, in the Forte Simulate user interface, you can adjust the output frequency of these data in spatially averaged output control before the start of simulation. Second, the simulation settings in this working example have been saved into a file named dieselclosedcycle.ftsim. In the same directory, there is a folder dieselclosedcycle.analysis. Open it, 
and you will see subfolders for the parametric study cases. An alternative way to start Forte Monitor is to start it from the Forte Launcher. As you open the Forte Monitor interface, you will be prompted to navigate to your working directory. You can open diesel closed cycle.analysis All the CSV solutions have been loaded the same as what we did before. So to summarize, when you are doing a parametric study in Forte and having multiple simulation runs, you can use Forte Monitor to automatically plot the CSV data of all the runs and to compare them side by side. The plots are updated along with the simulation, so it is a live monitoring. This concludes the eighth part of the demonstration.